Dames en heren, we zijn weer terug. Um, in de vorige video hebben wij geleerd dat uh, het polsbandje dat we gevonden hadden, was van een, uh, een uh, inrichting voor uh, geestelijke patiënten. <laughs> geestelijke patiënten? Ze <laughs> zijn gelovige patiënten of wat? <laughs> ja, praat verder. <laughs> Nou. Wij gaan reizen. Ja. Insane Asylum. Daar gaan we naartoe. Want de broer van Ibn Wesler, de tweelingbroer, Albert Wesler, wat een verwijzing is naar Albert Wesker, denk ik, wat de hoofdpersoon is van Resident Evil, wat zich afspeelt in een Insane Asylum. Natuurlijk. Dus daar gaan we naartoe. Kijken wat, uh, wat we daar kunnen leren. Chapter 4. Hé. Hey. I slept like I used to sleep years ago, like a miner or a soldier, empty, dead tired. Goeie video. Then I saw oh. Tessa, my darling little daughter. Oh, we een dochter. But no matter how yeah. hard I tried, I couldn't recall her face. I reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. Then I saw Molly. But she wasn't real. Just Molly is the uh, papagaai. The vrouw. Yeah. I'm here, I cried. But all I heard was laughter. Hey, that was the uh, chick, Natasha. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. Just stood there laughing. But her eyes were cold. Then she said something. Wat dan? Painted red. Painted red. Painted red. Oké. Okay. Okay. Dat was gewoon een droom, Sonny. Niets meer. Ik keek naar Marty en ik zag hetzelfde in zijn ogen als hij waarschijnlijk zag in mijn. Het is tijd om de brakes te hebben. Painted red. Ga naar huis en vergeet al dit. Natuurlijk. Ik stapte op de gas in plaats. Honestly, no, I wasn't expecting up. anything good, mm -hmm. but this... Ooh, just like a horror movie. Oh, and that's for me. Appearances mm -hmm. can be deceiving. Let's hope so. A resident who is not wise. Stairs, they can beware. The nurse is a giraffe. Weird mural. Thanks. Okay. This picture. It's very special. Colorful. Yeah. Ik zal even te kijken of er een hoekje van mist, maar is niet zo. Nee. Even if you manage to escape, there's nothing but hills and forests for a hundred miles. Imagine how many poor lunatic ghosts must haunt those woods. Hmm. Jason. Oh, Sonny, you're creeping me out. This guy seems strangely familiar to me. You don't say. You've been treated here too. That would explain a lot. <laughs> oh, don't be stupid. I'm serious. Nah. Take a closer look. No. Well? No, it can't be. Are you telling me it's him? M.B. Davis himself? M.B. Davis? I'm sure of it, pal. Yes, sir. It seems the Maybe. gossip was true. The eternal king of jazz in a madhouse. Oh no, no, no. The poor devil. The king of jazz. Okay. We should go to reception first. Let them know we're here. Ja, ik wou eerst even rondkijken. De stairs kunnen hier. Nou, dan gaan we met de neus praten, hè? Mhm. Mm of all the great wild. Goeie video dit. <laughs> Greetings, miss. Is it really? Ik kijk ook omhoog. Well, uh, yes. Yes, it really is. Ze kent ons blijkbaar. Chicken police. I'm afraid so. Of all that's furry and plumey, that's fantastic. Ik denk dat ze fan is. Ik denk het ook. Miss, we'd like to ask. 
please don't be scared i'm just really 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 excited <laughs> i've read every book about you and your adventures and i even collected newspaper articles when i was a little girl indeed you can't imagine what an honor it is to meet you in person we really Oh god, oh god, oh god. Take a deep breath, Miranda. Deep breath. <laughs> Miranda. Are you okay, miss? Goeie pasfoto. Yeah. I am. I yeah, look. Air. So. Ik stel me er ook voor dat dat zo ontstaan is. Dat ze het per ongeluk hadden en de... oh, nee, dat was zo. Ja. What can I do for you? Well, miss, uh, we have some questions if you don't mind. I'd love to answer all of your questions, detectives. Ja, oké, okay, dat is gunstig. Dat uh, die persoon uh, achievement unlocked. De achievement is... Nee, ik dacht, vind alle personen, maar dit is het niet. Dat zal er ook wel zijn namelijk. Ze is een giraf. Nou, daar waren we ook al achter. <laughs> She's a big fan of us. Ja. An overly nice nurse. Een embarrassingly huge fan. Nou, laten we eens praten met Miranda. Say, miss, uh, what can you tell us about this place? Our institution was standing even before the Great Meat War, and during the, the war, Great it Meat was transformed war. into a military hospital. Since then, we are relentlessly working on treating injured minds under the leadership of Dr. Quetzal, the famous Dr. Quetzal. <laughs> the place seems pretty empty. Do many people work here? Een, een kwetsel is een, een uh, hagedis, toch? We have Ik heb geen idee. residents and seven nurses, including me. We also have a three-person maintenance and cleaning staff, and of course, the heart and soul of our institution, Dr. Quetzel himself. I see. Now this Dr. Quetzel is he the director here? Exactly. Director, scientist, researcher, so, patron, and hij is alles. And even a friend. Oeh, gevaarlijk. Quite a guy. He certainly is. Hm? Dr. Sessuus. Ah, Quetzel Kottel. <laughs> ja, Quetzel Kottel, dat ken ik. <laughs> Natuurlijk, het zal ik eens In Puzzle Pirates. Was er een eiland dat heette Quetzal Island? En dat was Quetzal Kotel, zo heette de in daar. Mm. Who is this Dr. Quetzal exactly? He's a world famous researcher of the mind. En Dr. Seuss in de voornaam. Hij published countless mm -hmm. books in the fields of psychology en psychotherapy. Psycho mm -hmm. what? Unraveling the mind. It's the most crucial mission of the century, Mr. McChicken. That's really good to know. So this doctor is some celebrity, right? Does he usually meet uh, other important persons? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, like uh, Mr. Hobart Wessler, for example. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's something you should ask the doctor himself. Uh, Unfortunately, I, I don't think he has time right now. He's mm. swamped, is he? Exactly, Mr. Featherland. He is very, very, very busy. All the time. I thought you. Okay. Now your wristband. Let's ask vragen. Now what can you say about this, Miss? Have you uh, seen anything like it? Of course. Our residents wear these for identification. But how did you come by? Mm. They only wear them inside the institution. Only inside. Ah, I see. The wristband does belong to one of our residents. But I'm afraid I'm not going to tell you more regulations. Maar wij zijn de chicken Come police. On, Miranda, it's us, the chicken police. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Miranda, this case is a matter of life and death. Lives are in your hands. <sighs> All right. All right. Ja, dit wist ze wel. Mm -hmm. Albert Wessler. The patient's yeah. name is Albert Taddeus Wessler. That is so long. Just as we thought. Thank you, Miranda. We'll never forget this. Please, don't make me blush. And don't tell anyone you heard it from me. Oh, we won't. I promise. Okay. 
So when can we talk to Mr. Wessler? I need to ask Dr. Quetzel. Please wait here. Thank you. Okay, ze gaat weg. Ze gaat weg. Apparently. We need to let them know we're here first. We weten wel. Trap op dan, hè? Ja. Yeah. Meer uh, is er niet, denk ik. Dr. Wessel wil zien. He's waiting Kijk. in the office. Up the stairs, all the way down the hall, until the last door. What a surprise. It's enough to mention Wessler's name and all the doors are open. Mm -hmm. Dat zeg. I wouldn't want to get mixed up in this, but do you think Albert is in danger? Danger? What do you mean? That's dood. We haven't heard from him since he disappeared. Yeah. And we're really, yeah. really worried. I see. Uh, we don't know yet, miss, but let's hope for the best. Great wild ones protect him. Where is he? No idea, Marty. The smell ugh, of all that's furry. I'll never get used to it. Well, reptiles have a disgusting reptiles, body, Marty, but they feel exactly the same about us. Exactly. Hey, there is he, Dr. Quetzal. Mm -hmm. Wild ones, you scared the hell out of me. I already sensed your arrival from a slang is I you know snakes yeah. have a different sense of smell and birds used to be our prey once upon a time once upon a time well yeah luckily we're living in civilized times lucky no please take a seat how can I help you gentlemen Eerst even rondkijken, dat is altijd de tactiek. Your office is uh, mm -hmm. rather puritan. <laughs> Simple, I mean. Ain't that the truth? Well, yes. I can't let my mind wander from my work. I only keep what's his. Hij moet zich concentreren op zijn werk. I see. Mm. Mm, makes sense. Okay, wat hebben we hier meer? Is een desk. Nog meer walls. Is this cell like uh, like the others? It is a cell. I would rather call it a room. But yes, it's like all the others, except there are even bigger ones than this. Okay. This it is a cell. An isle of yeah. reason in a sea of insanity. Insanity is such a strong word, and it's mostly an abstract idea. Where does yeah. insanity start, and how long is one not insane? Goeie vraag wel. Interesting <laughs> questions. Am I normal, or are you? Maybe neither of us. You see, that's something I think about a lot nowadays. If you like, I can give you an appointment. Oh, oh that's like we need no honey. Don't miss it. <coughs> We're already here. Marty, clock up. Clock up. Clock up. Is it bars on your windows? Because it's a room like all the others, and I'm just an animal too, like all our. Ah, he stelt zich gelijk aan zijn patiënten. With the significant <laughs> difference of you being a doctor and not a patient. Am I right? It's not as big of a difference as you'd think. Kijk, hij is ook niet wijs. Mm. Dat is denk ik de conclusie. We hebben nog wat Mogelijk. nieuwe informatie. Albert. He is weg. He has disappeared. Dat is er. Dr. Quetzal. Een python is hij. Mm. Nou, dan gaan we weer praten. To be honest, gentlemen, your visit is anything but a surprise. I could even say I was expecting it. What an introduction. Ah, lekker. Please forgive me. I have the bad habit of immediately getting into the middle of things. How very rude of me. My name is Dr. Seth. He was Quetzalcoatl, but most Quetzalcoatl. call me Dr. Quetzal to keep it simple. The name is Santino Featherland, and this is my partner, Martin McChicken, from... From the Predatory Division of the Clawville Police Department. Natuurlijk is onze fame weer ons vooruit gegaan. We're used to it. 
Certainly. We have some questions about one of your patients, if you don't mind. We'd like to talk to him, if that's possible. Please be specific, detective. Look, Doctor, we're too tired to play cat and mouse. Not that snake and chicken sounds any better. They ended up. Very funny, I must say. Just what I expected from you two detectives. We know you know. It's about Albert Wessler. Ibn Wessler's secret twin. Ever since we've said his name, all the doors have miraculously opened. That's what we call a bullseye. Well, mm. yes. Mm. Why should I deny it? We're talking about a rather illustrious patient here, who's also a very particular medical case. I say particular, but it's not peculiar. Yeah. Now, that's much more interesting. So, are you willing to talk about him? Because Albert regrettably has disappeared, and you are police detectives, I have no I can't say so hello to talk here. to you. Of yeah. course, I've your service. But you must understand, I can't disclose information about my patients. Yeah. Even if it's a matter of life and death. Everything's a matter of life and death in here, detective. Mm. This is a hospital even if it's primarily for the mind not the body still i'd like to give the impossible a try please detective just do your job and i'll do mine Klink goed vragen stellen heb ik how long was albert a resident of the institution for quite some time, his first symptoms surfaced yeah, schizophrenia, symptoms, depression, panic attacks, and schizophrenia. He got here immediately after the first signs that something wasn't right. You know, the biggest problem with an opinion on insanity hmm. is that animals are ashamed. Zou het zo kunnen zijn? That's the reason our institution dat stands Ibn Wessler, Albert Wessler is. Dat zou zo kunnen zijn. Animals would rather hide what they're afraid to face. I mm. couldn't have said it better myself. As far as I know, the Wessler family wasn't exceptionally wealthy. Indeed, they were rather poor, but we offer our services gratis. 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 Then how do you sustain yourselves? By the grace of the treasury of King Hector the ah. Third. Mm, the plot thickens. Yeah, I wouldn't the coding betaalt uh, alles hier. Family and the royal dynasty had always been on good terms, Mr. Santino. Ja, dat is wel uh, interessant om te weten. We kunnen hem ook al uh, officieel ondervragen. It used to be a mansion. Construction started during the occupation in 622. Then it stood empty for almost a century mm. until finally it went to the crown of Cornwall when Hector's great grandfather took the throne. The rest is history. How long have you been working here? I've worked here for more than 30 years. So, more than 30 years. Duma. possession for almost 150 years. So if I count correctly, as soon as it went to the crown, it was seized by your family. That's almost accurate, Mr. Featherland. What a lovely inheritance. Oh, in a Tell me, doctor, do you know Madame Zavas? Just like everybody else, I've heard of her. But I have had a lot of pleasure of meeting her in person. I'm sure she's an interesting case. Oh, you can be sure about that. I'd gladly get you two together if I had the chance. A spare cell would suit her very much. Is that so? <laughs> As it turns out, she likes small, narrow, secret places. Oh, I mm. see. What a coincidence. Ja. Even kijken wat voor informatie we hebben. En dan gaan we hem formeel interrogaten. Mm -hmm. Dit is lore. Yeah. A half century occupation. Ja. Yeah. 
En we hebben weer iets geleerd over deze man. Dat de familie yeah. dit bedrijf al 100 jaar heeft. Oké, okay, nou dan gaan we maar, Jelijn. Ja. Yeah. Hmm, Dr. Quetzal's a real mystery. But I can turn that to my advantage. I just need to focus on the strangest pieces of the Focus on the strangest pieces. Nou, ik heb één optie hier, dus dat komt goed. <laughs> so, when did Albert become a resident of your institute? Albert and Hobart, or Ibn as you call him, arrived here almost exactly Hebben ze hier allebei gewoond? Years ago. Mm. Could you describe that day more specifically? It was not long after New Year's Eve, maybe the first week of the year, if I'm not mistaken. It was sleeting that day. Wind was. Weet je wat sleet is? Nee. Not the sneeuw. <laughs> cool. Ja. It was sleeting, not the sneeuw. What was your first impression of them? I already knew the Wessler name. I knew who they were. Or at least I knew one of them, Hobart Wessler. He was famous, gangster, moneylender, celebrity. Lover, so so, so so. And Albert, he was new to me, an invisible grey ghost. The family had tried to keep his existence a secret. Mm. Why? Because they were ashamed of him, of course, Mr. Ah. Fairland. That's how it usually is. Het zwarte schaap. What was your first impression of him? He was silent, but observed everything that surrounded him. His eyes were constantly moving, never stopped for a second. Was he afraid? I wouldn't say so. Mm. It seemed to me that he wanted to move into our institution voluntarily. It looked mm. as if he couldn't wait to be here, alone, locked up in silence and darkness. Didn't you think of that as unusual? Blijf ook wel vreemd, hè? But who am I to judge? It was rather special treatment. Mm. Ik zou gewoon de eerste doen, denk ik. Ja. Yeah. Special treatment, ja. Yeah. What kind of special treatment did Albert get? You know, if an institution like ours has to accept a Wessler as a guest, there's bound to be some favoritism and complete secrecy i guess yes but that's the case for all our patients mr featherland of course so in what way did he receive more than the others basically we don't admit anyone into our institution ah. without a complete <clears throat> and thorough prior assessment <laughs> dus, dus we weten niet eens zeker of die man überhaupt niet goed is. Nee. Oh, letterlijk wat Sony vraagt, kijk mooi. Actually, no, he was more of a guest than a patient. Bijzonder. New impression daydreamer. Hmm. <sighs> Ik uh, zou de laatste doen. Oké. Okay. How did Albert relate to you? Albert was immensely sophisticated and polite. So much so that his true emotions and thoughts. Ik dacht ook de laatste, daarom ging ik mee. <laughs> and that's why you thought of him as an exciting case. That's right, Mr. Featherland. I see you're starting to get to know me in some way. I'm just doing my job, Doctor. You and me both. Mm. No, één vraag. Are you telling me Albert had multiple personalities? We found out very quickly that there was no other reason for the cause of his seizures. He had a cold seizures? and okay. personality who sometimes, especially on stormy days, took the van het weer. Leuk. over their shared <laughs> yeah, so. mind. He had these seizures from the beginning. 
Yes, Mr. Featherland, but they started to intensify after Albert left our institution for the first time. He did what? Left the institution? More than once? Oh, yes, Mr. Featherland. Albert left the institution on several occasions okay. until the last time when he failed. That is well, really fun. Yeah. Wetzel is not only very observant, but he's addicted to detail. I must focus on that if I want to get closer to the truth. Focus. Addicted to details. Dan zou ik drie doen. Ja? Oké. Okay. Jij niet? Ik dacht twee. Ja, uh, okay. Misschien omdat hij een gast is, kan hij in en uit lopen. Ja, dan laten we de tweede de derde doen. Volg jou hoor. Wanneer Albert leef de instituutie voor de eerste keer? Het was about twee jaar ago. Mr. Hobart Wessler appeared and demanded we let his brother go free. Naturally, we obliged. We had no idea if we'd ever see him again. But you did. He returned the same day. The same day. Albert was ecstatic. He was unrestrained. I could almost say <laughs> happy. That was okay. unusual for him. I had never seen him like that mm. before, Mr. Featherland. He just smiled and stared at the empty wall for hours. Did he ever tell you what happened to him outside? No, of course he did. Albert and I had a good relationship. He was working on a painting. And I have a painting life. corner. Yeah. Was it a painting of a lovely lady cat? Oh, exactly. Kijk aan. So you already knew about that. Yes, Dr. Quetzal, I've seen it. Kijk aan. Hmm. Kijk aan. Is dus mogelijk. <sighs> heeft hij dus een schilderij gemaakt waar wij het hoekje van hebben? Hmm. Ik weet het niet. Ik ben blank. Ga ik voor drie. Oké. Okay. Did Albert tell you how he felt about the painting? From the first moment he loved it. He was fascinated by it. But who could blame him? A little diversity. Fresh air. A beautiful lady. And of course, on top of all that, he could finally do what he loved best, paint. Which could be mm. a surprisingly effective therapy. It could have been. Unfortunately, these excursions have greatly intensified his seizures. Mm. They have become more frequent and extreme. Mm. Now, nog één vraag over. So Albert left on many occasions to continue working on the painting. Exactly, Mr. Featherland. Every time he came back, he was like a different person. But unfortunately, his seizures also multiplied and became more dangerous. More dangerous. Albert was... For himself, himself. yeah. And on one occasion, he even tried to hurt me. It was unprecedented. It seemed his confined personality mm. was taking over their shared mind entirely, piece by piece. Do you think the painting caused it? Not the painting, Mr. Featherland. That model. But it's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, like Exactly. <laughs> he was obsessed right until that fateful day when he returned to us for the last time. What exactly happened that day, Doctor? It wasn't Hobart who brought his brother back that day, but ah. two of his gorillas. Not Gorilla. literally, I mean. Ja, die rammen die bok zijn in terrible, terrible state. What happened to him? 
I don't like to talk about that, Mr. Featherland. It could be vital to the case, Dr. Quetzal. Don't back down. Oh, you're right. There's no use turning back now. No. So, Albert's tongue was torn out, or cut Baba. off, I don't know exactly. And he was blinded in one eye. Or Were rather, you? one of his eyes was missing entirely. So you're saying Albert was brought back horribly mutilated? Yes. And they didn't give any explanation as some to some kind of accident. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. Told me it was some kind of accident. Doctor Quetzal is cold and professional, but he's also very confused. Maybe it's cruel, but I must exploit his vulnerability if I want to learn everything about Albert. Focus. Confused. Mm. Uh, nou ja, dat derde weten we al. Ja. Dat is niet moeilijk om te raden. Ik, ik denk de eerste. Oké. Okay. Als arts is het logisch dat hij daar naar kijkt. Ja. Ja. Maybe it's not easy for you to talk about it, but did you examine his wounds thoroughly? I'm not that kind of doctor, Mr. Featherland. But even I could determine his tongue was either cut out or bitten off. And his mm. eye was gouged out. He also had several broken bones. But there's no doubt it wasn't an accident. I don't believe it was, Mr. Featherland. I totally agree. Hmm. Ik denk gewoon de eerste. Ja. Yeah. Mm. Concentrate, doctor. What do you think happened to Albert? I'm sure it was Hobart. He ordered his men to mutilate poor Albert. But why no. would he do that? <laughs> Maybe Albert saw something he could accidentally reveal. To whom? Mm, so a couple of crazies. You? To anyone, Mr. Fellow. Ze staat iets op dat schilderij. I don't think it's that simple, doctor. Oh. Thank you for your honest opinion. You're welcome, detective. Nou, nog één optie. What happened then? How did Albert disappear? A few weeks later, Hobart came to visit Albert one more time. Albert had been in terrible condition by then. We even had to transfer him to another cell, a more safe one. What did Hobart do during the visit? No clue. He didn't do anything. He just sat and watched his brother, who was in an almost vegetative state by then. Couldn't you manage to good? draw anything out of him? You or Hobart? Mm. Nothing. For a while he was trying to signal something. Perhaps he was too afraid. And most likely his fingers had been broken too. So he could oh, right. Jesus. Do you think Hobart could have killed Albert? It's horrible to say it. But I'm sure of it. How did he disappear in the end? Did someone come for him? That's what's most eerie about it all, Mr. Featherland. He simply disappeared. Ah. His door, which only I had a key for, was open. Did anyone see anything? No one. We interrogated the staff. That's so bizarre. He simply vanished off the face of the wilderness. We don't know what happened to him. Unfortunately, mm. I have a hunch. Thank you, Doctor. Mm. You've been a great help. Oh, well, I'm glad I could be of help. But please, I have to now must attend to my work. We understand, Doctor. Thank you. Hello, Mom. Hey, five stairs. 
Maar goed, hij is verdwenen. Maar we weten niet ja. waarheen. Ja, we denken dat hij dood is, maar dat weten we niet 100%. Ja, dan moeten we naar de hive. We hebben een clue. Eh, uh, oh. Albert Wesley disappeared. Ja, dat wisten we. We hebben iets geleerd over Ibn. Most likely killed his own brother. Plausibel. Mm -hmm. Dr. Quetzel. Is onder de indruk van wat er gebeurd is. Mm -hmm. Albert heeft een schilderij gemaakt van Natasha. Dat weten we ook. Ja. Yeah. Kunnen we geen nieuwe vraag stellen? Nog een algemene vraag? I think you understand why we kept it a secret. If it wasn't for Mr. Wessler's demand, we'd never let any of our patients walk freely outside our institution. Then the, uh, the accident happened. Accident? <laughs> we didn't believe it. Not for a second. After Albert came back to us, horribly mutilated, he was different. Different how? If someone got one of his eyes poked out and his tongue torn out, he'd be different, but yeah, no, not like this. Albert was a Misschien different person. Is Albert Iman and Amazon? Yeah, that had I also said. We believe you, Doctor. That's geloof ik wel. Can we take a look at Albert's cell? I'd rather call it his room. Mr. Wessler lived in exceptional We're benieuwd wat we daar vinden in die cel. Thanks to the mm -hmm. Wessler name, I guess. Yes. Well, we try to make all of our patients stay as comfortable as possible, but Albert certainly enjoyed mm, special favoritism. I hope you don't mind if we take a look around in there. That's not going to bother anyone. Okay. Well, that's uh, no, boy, surprising. Come. I've yeah. never seen a cell like this before, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living here myself. It seems that being a Wessler gets you privileges. And a healthy dose of danger. Mostly that, yeah. Hmm, that is good guy, I'm sure mm -hmm. we'll find some answers here. I can almost smell them. Well, I smell paint, ink, plaster, some kind of oil, <laughs> aging paper, slight smell of rat, and great expectations. What the Dickens? Ah, there's a book from mm. Dickens, eh? Great expectations. Yeah. Unmistakable. Yeah. This place is bad for you, pal. But if you've already jump-started your beak holes, then sniff out the solution. I'm on it, boss bird. Now you need to read a book. Liquor. For a handful of waffles. <laughs> Fancy bed. Writing desk. Creepy mural. Painting. Hey. Mm. You know, I don't think he had it so bad in here. You mean apart from being separated from Let me up. We kijken straks in the painting and that missed a hooky. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. As always. Albert's letter. Look at that. Mm -hmm. A letter. New item. New. Photo of the Wesslers. Twins. And looking at it, they may have easily loved the same woman. Mm-hmm. Two men and one woman. Nothing good ever comes of that. So is it? <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say that again. <laughs> Lekker. Of all yeah. the wild ones, Marty, please. Lekker, ja. Is dat de reactie? Okay. Nou, het gaat. Use your imagination, <laughs> old bird. Die Marty is gewoon smeerlap. Yeah. Scribbles, newspaper articles, study papers, poems, perfect chaos. Just like the troubled mind of a troubled fella. Yeah, and hope but there's still a kind of order in it. It's just too intricate for you to comprehend. If you say mm. so, boss. I see no order in the pile of papers. Mm -hmm. Meer hier niet. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have the creepy mural. No way! Is this some kind of puzzle? Mm. I don't think so. 
But we could still find something important here. A pattern, a sign, anything. Die kat met die hoed op, hier een oog. Kan nergens op klikken. Oh wacht, ik kan wel ergens op klikken. Ik kan een streep zetten. Mm. Waarom wil ik dat? Dat we iets moeten highlighten. Maar wat? Ja, dat is weer het kijken. Ik weet het nog niet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hier is een ding. Hier is een politieauto hier rechts. Mm -hmm. Zie je mijn muispeltje? Ik zie die, die kat, die gele kat zie je. Is dat een kat? Oh, dan weet ik veel van hamster. Zo'n snuit, dat een muis. Mm. Hier de grote ogen zie je, hier staat waaah. <laughs> hier is een bloem, hier zo, een roos. Zie je dat? Mm -hmm. Een roos, dit is een vogeltje of een vleermuis. Vleermuisje. En hier staat waaah. Ogen, ogen. Dit is, een, dit is een blauwe ogen, deze hier. Oh, kijk. Zie je dat? Er verdwijnen ook dingen. Ja, dus je hebt er maar maximaal vijf. Vijf, ja? Ja. Kijk, dit Zijn is we dan op zoek naar vijf van iets? Infinity teken. Acht. Ja. Zijn we op zoek naar getallen? Ik weet het niet. Ja, onderin staat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dus dan denk ik. Ja. Ik weet er niet veel wijzen van. En dit is een handtekening. Hier staat ook een roos. Zie je dat? Dit is ook zo'n bloem. Mm -hmm. Hier. En die staat hier ook. Een bloem. Verder staan er geen bloemen. Sterren, sterren. Die kat, al die ogen. Twee blauwe ogen. Mm -hmm. Drie blauwe ogen. Hier is een blauw oog. Dit is een blauw oog. Dit is een blauw oog. Mm -hmm. Dan hier die gekke kat. Muisbeestachtig iets. <laughs> Muisbeest. Hier, hier komen de oranje spetters uit deze kat. Laten we eerst even naar de schilderij kijken. Little yeah. window. A small window. Een small hoop. Schilderij. Oh. The style. Bijzonder. It's very familiar. Yeah. Het is een chameleon. You've been lonely for far too long, huh? Not funny, Marty. <laughs> It is. A little. Ik kan hier ook verder niks mee. Nee. Nieuwe items hadden we gevonden. Die brief. <laughs> Die, die, uh, de, oh, ik kan even mijn ogen praten, stop. <laughs> Op het hoekje staat ook een handtekening van de schilderij. Is dat hetzelfde? Of zei je dat net al? Dat zei ik niet, maar ik zal zo even kijken. Albert was madly in love with Natasha hmm. and would have done anything for her. I'm afraid he did exactly that. Maar Albert was dus verliefd op Natasha. En Evan ook. And looking at it, they may have yeah. easily loved the same woman. Hij heeft zijn broer het gek huis. Ah, dit is die handtekening yeah. staat op de muur ook. Yeah. Ja. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure. Ja, 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 ja. Natasha wanted to Dit is die handtekening die op de muur staat, die heb ik gezien. Ja. Apart from the fact the guy was totally insane? I don't know. What should I? That maybe we've been chasing the wrong person all this time, Marty. What do you mean? Everything will be revealed soon. Why do you have to be so melodramatic all of a sudden? If I'm right, this will flip the whole case upside down. What's that, Sonny? A blurb from some horrible novel? Blurb. I just have to think things through before I come to any hasty conclusions, Marty. Ugh, you're killing me. So, what now? Where to? Back to Clawville. 
where we can find uh -huh. all the pieces together. <sighs> You're driving me crazy. But all right, let's go home. Mm -hmm. Oh, ik wou nog naar die muur kijken, maar ik kan niet meer blijkbaar. Hmm. Dat is jammer. Howard fell in love with Natasha. Op die muur stond die handtekening. Die, ik heb hem yeah. gezien. What can you tell us about the woman in the photo we saw in Albert's room? Do you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko? Well, yes. I don't know much about her, but everyone heard her name and her voice around here. Did she ever visit this place? Never. But if you ask me, Natasha probably didn't even know Albert was a resident of in our institution. And Albert, did he mention her often? Constantly. It was mm. obvious he had an affection <laughs> for Miss Katsenko, but I wouldn't have thought for a moment he could escape because of her. I wouldn't jump ahead, Doctor. Yeah, something else want be behind Albert's disappearance. Iemand, ik weet niet meer wie. Iemand heeft eerder gezegd dat die Ibn Wessler uh, ineens heel anders was dan normaal. Dat hij niet meer praatte. Is dat zo? Ja, daar staat er iets van bij. Hmm. Dus Albert is ontsnapt en heeft, denk ik, Ibn uh, omgelegd. Ah. Er staat er iets van bij. In 99% of cases. Exactly. But this one typically belongs to the remaining 1%. If you say so. Meer vragen kunnen we niet stellen. So, detectives, have you found what you were looking for? I'm afraid we have, doctor. And more. I wouldn't dare to say I'm happy to hear it, but I'm glad to be of service to you. Well, thanks, Doc. I hope I don't offend you by saying I hope we're not going to meet anytime soon. Kom je niet graag terug? Dat snap ik. Exactly. Nou, wat zijn de opties die we hebben? Terug naar het kantoor is de enige optie die we hebben. Oké. Dan gaan we checkpoint van maken. Ja. Wij hebben ontdekt. Dat het hoekje van het afgescheurde schilderij, dat daarop de handtekening staat van Albert Wessler, vermeent mm -hmm. dood. Mm -hmm. Maar ik denk dat wij denken dat mm -hmm. Albert de plaats van Ibben heeft overgenomen. Dat denk ik ook. En we gaan de, de stukjes op een rij leggen in de volgende video. Al verklaart dat nog steeds niet wie die dreigementen naar Natasha stuurt. Ik denk Molly. En waarom? Hmm. Oké, okay. goede theorie. Ik weet niet waarom. We gaan het zien. En het volgende deel uh, gaan we weer uh, verder komen in het onderzoek. Ik hoop dat ja. jullie dat weer met ons samen willen beleven. Dan zien we jullie graag de volgende keer. Doei.